The NBC met with contesting parties to discuss how the broadcaster will go about covering their political campaigning rallies, both on TV and radio. Elan with its editorial election coverage policy, the NBC will allocate free equal airtime to be given us from the 5th until the 22nd of August, two days before the by-election. NBC will dedicate coverage at least for three events or rallies of the participating parties. And we know that we have a, a dedicated slot for that. It's going to be 5 to 7 on the indicated dates. And we also say for radio, the broadcasting time will be quarter past one, and we have 11 radio services. Political parties are also free to buy content, if they to buy slots for their paid content. We restrict that to the duration of five minutes. So if you think that maybe the time you are allocated at no cost, you want to complement it, you are free to do that. We can do that, but we also discuss what are the terms, like what you were just saying, that yes, the speeches must be uniting as per our mandate. Political parties are urged to be on time, especially with their time allocated for recording, to avoid forfeiting their slots. We use the alphabetical order so that <coughs> no one asks now to say, why is this one starting? So that's the best option we have now. And the, we say from the fifth, COD will be the one to start. They have three minutes. That's the airing. No broadcast. Yeah, yeah, the airing. The airing. <coughs> That's why the other days you have to prepare your script and then we have the recordings now. It's just to prepare that when this, this date comes, the team has already quality controlled everything. Your logo needs to be there. Maybe just to check the supers, are they correct, those things. Each party has only one recording per week on TV, while with radio, political parties can use any of the 11 NBC radio services three minutes per day pre-recorded campaigning material. Political parties present praise the NBC for its transparency and openness and its coverage manifested in broad consultations such as this one. The consultations on Monday were attended by Swane of Namibia, Popular Democratic Movement, SWAPO, and the Congress of Democrats.